Ladies and gentlemen, it's both a pleasure and an honor to be here before you. I'd like to thank the Chamber for having this meeting and for giving me this opportunity. Uh, can you hear me in the back okay? I don't, I don't want to stand next to the podium too closely because it's so much bigger than me. <laughs> um, James Arthur Strom, you can call me Jim. Like probably everybody in the room, I'm pretty much a Texan. I wasn't born here, but I got here as quick as I could. Uh, I've been an Austinite for most of the time since the late 60s. Um, don't hold it against me, I graduated from the University of Texas, had to do it twice, and got an interesting education and a look at the way things worked in some sides of the world and didn't work in other sides. A few weeks ago, um, my honored colleague, Mr. Lamar Smith, who couldn't be here today, apparently. Um, he voted for an incredibly huge and almost unprecedented bill to give $700 billion to the people who are most responsible for the economic crisis we're in today. The people who will most be rewarded for this are the people who caused this problem. We don't know how it's going to turn out, but what we do know is that the plan was offered by the administration as a, you must pass this today. Now, how many of us have been to a used car lot and the used car salesman said, got to buy today? It's not too much different. The House, in its wisdom, narrowly rejected the first plan. It went to the Senate, who overnight added more than 300 pages of legislation to a bad bill and nearly $150 billion more of mostly unrelated and totally unfunded items to this. The next morning, 300 pages later, it passed. Now, when you talk about putting lipstick on a pig, this bill was not a pig. This pill was Hogzilla, the 1,400-pound porker <laughs> that was shot in Georgia. For 20 years, Lamar Smith has served diligently. He served this district well, I guess. I've never seen what he's done. He's been my congressman for quite a while now. But he's done something now. He's voted for this bill twice. And this bill adds $2,300 to our tax bills for each of you, adds a trillion dollars to the national debt by the time everything is said and done. And what I'd like for you to do in a couple of weeks is I'd like you to do something for Lamar, and that's send him home. I appreciate your vote. And again, thank you for this opportunity. We can turn things around. Thank you.